All right, in the investment world, there are a lot of financial instruments or what we call tools out there that are available to you, but they all have different aspects. Some are safe, some are set for growth, that, but don't have the safety. Some are a hybrid of, of both of those. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned because today we're gonna be talking about those differences in those financial instruments and most importantly, how you can structure a portfolio utilizing all of them. Retiring well. Brought to you by Centennial Wealth Advisory. Financial advisors specializing in retirement planning and serving all of Northern Michigan. Retiring well. Helping you plan for a successful and comfortable retirement. Retiring well. Plan to retire well. Hi, welcome back to Retiring Well. Listen, today we're talking about investments. You know, do you have your investment to be safe or do you have your investment to grow? Do you have your investment to be liquid or not? Or can you have all three? Listen, or does it have to be some kind of a compromise? Today, we're gonna to talk about investments so, so we can help you make a better decision as to where you wanna be in that spectrum. Listen, banks have their version of safe investments, okay? Um, they would be what you call a savings account, right? Or maybe it's a CD. And if you let them hold it a little bit longer, and it's in a CD, what? They're gonna give you a little better interest rate, right? Insurance companies have their version of a safe product. Yeah, they're called fixed annuities. They, they kind of look like a CD in a way. Um, they, they guarantee your principal, and they give you a guaranteed interest rate just like a CD, but what's the difference? Well, with a CD, you're holding that with a bank. With a fixed annuity, you're holding it with an insurance company. Now the government has their form of a safe investment. It's called a bond, right? Now, so government bonds. Now I don't want to get this confused with a mutual fund that holds government bonds, but what if you hold that bond directly? Well, it's being guaranteed by the government unit itself, whether that be a municipality or, or the US government. They're guaranteeing your principal that they're gonna pay that, that, pay that back to you, and then they're giving you also a guaranteed uh, rate of return or interest. So you look at the similarities of these, these financial instruments that are on the safe side of things, and what do you have? Well, they're all guaranteeing that they're gonna pay you a, a certain amount back, or they're guaranteeing your principal per se, right? They're also guaranteeing how much interest you're gonna get back. So we kind of call this the world of the knowns, right? We know our principal, we know when it's gonna get paid back, and, and when, and we know what kind of rate of return we're gonna get back for our money. So these are some similarities between all these financial instruments, whether it be the bank or the insurance company or the government itself. But there is something also common with all of these right now in this low rate interest rate environment we find ourselves in, right? They're not paying you a lot for, for, for your money, right? You're, you're not getting the growth that you necessarily maybe want. Now, it'd be great if we could get back to those days where we had double digit interest rates, right? But folks, we're, we're not in that. Now, we're entering into what's called a rising interest rate market, so it's, it's gonna be nice to see if we can see those rates get a little better over time, but we're, we're not quite there yet. So in a lot of cases, if we're looking for growth, we're maybe moving a little closer to what we call those unsafe investments. All right, so, so you, got, you got your safe investments, you know, your, your principal's guaranteed, your interest is guaranteed, but maybe I'm not getting a lot of growth. So what's over here on this other side? What does this, 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 these unsafe investments look like? Where I might be taking a little bit more risk to try to get a little bit more growth. Well, you have mutual funds. Um, now, mutual funds can hold a lot of different kinds of securities. You can have mutual, mutual funds holding large company stocks. You can have mutual funds holding small company stocks. They can hold bonds. They can hold international stocks. They can hold a number of things. But because they're holding securities, they're going to have some risk associated with them because in some cases they can go down in value. Now, some more so than others, right? Or some might one year be up and some another year down. But the fact is, if I'm, uh, if I'm over in what I call the unsafe investments, trying to get a little bit more growth, maybe taking a little bit more risk on, I'm gonna have to live with the fact that they're not gonna be totally safe. Do you know where you're at in the spectrum? 
Whether you're on the safe side or the unsafe side, listen, today I can only talk in generalities, but I don't know what your individual circumstances are or what your needs are. I encourage you to give us a call so we can sit down, find out what those are, and make sure that the financial instrument you might have is in line with your wants and needs. Now, I want you to stay tuned because we're going to talk more about these unsafe investments, but we're also going to talk about possibly some hybrids. These things that have a strong, have, well, have an element of both safety and maybe risk. You know, Larry, that was a great segment. It's interesting how so many people tend to think there's just one type of investing, that there's not, you know, you look at safety and liquidity and risk. So many folks are just used to stocks or mutual funds or whatever it is, and they kind of break it apart and start looking at that. You know, now the environment we find ourselves in today is, is different. It's changing every day, but it's really interesting how for years folks discounted fixed rate stuff, you know, more of that safe aspect. And, you know, recently of time, it's getting more and more attractive. Again, it's not the days back, Larry, what, what the early 80s, right, when the rates were really attractive, but they're starting to be competitive again, and at least looking the environment we find ourselves in, at the market timing we find ourselves in, it can be attractive again. And that's where I see, guys, that it gives uh, investors a lot more flexibility with what their options are, and that's one of the advantages that we find ourselves in as an independent firm. It comes back to what what that individual or couple is trying to accomplish with their retirement and it's our job to walk alongside them and show them okay here's here's some different options that are out there and a lot of times it seems surprising that people aren't familiar with all those different options because not everyone's licensed and set up that way so that's where we encourage you to just give us a call for no cost no obligation second opinion we'd love to sit down with you and just walk through what your options are for retirement planning all right, Nick, we're going to ask you to stay tuned because, guys, in the next segment, I'm going to be talking about those, those investments that are not so safe, that might be more over on the risky side, and then I'll actually talk to people about a little uh, hybrid. It actually has an okay. element of safety and risk associated with it. So stay tuned. forward to helping you plan to retire well. Today's retirement challenges can be mastered. Knowledge is power because you can confidently plan ahead and make educated financial decisions for a successful and comfortable retirement. We are Centennial Wealth Advisory financial advisors specializing in retirement planning, serving all of Northern Michigan with offices in Traverse City, Cadillac, Petoskey, and Gaylord. And we invite you to an informative and exciting live event with a complimentary gourmet dinner. You'll learn highlights of the new Tax Reform Act, the difference between the fiduciary and suitability standard of care, how an IRA gets taxed to a surviving spouse, how two similar portfolios can end up with two drastically different results, what a bull market is and how long it can last, and much more. Call 888-608-5825 to register and choose the date and location that works best for you. Tuesday, August 6th at the Evergreen Resort in Cadillac. Thursday, August 8th at Big Buck Brewery in Gaylord or Tuesday, August 13th at Stafford's Bay View Inn in Petoskey. The live event starts at 6 p.m. and is free to attend with a complimentary gourmet dinner to follow, but seating is limited and fills quickly. Call 888-608-5825 to reserve your seats today. There is no cost and no obligation. Don't miss this important live event. Educated financial decisions. Call 888-608-5825. 608-5825 today. All 
Hi, welcome back. Listen, folks, today we're talking about investments. I talked about in the first segment those that um, tend to be safe. You know, the banks have what they call uh, savings accounts, CDs. Insurance companies have their version of safe, which is, you know, fixed annuities. And then you have the government has their version of safe, which are bonds. And I mean, when I say bonds, directly holding that bond, not a bond fund. And we called that the world of the knowns, right? They, we know our principal, what it's going to be, when it's going to get paid back, and we know the interest we're going to make on that account. Now I want to talk to you a little bit about, again, these, this world of what we call the unknowns. Um, now, in this world, there tends to be, in many cases, investments and in securities that um, don't guarantee that the principal is going to be um, there. They could have some downside to them, right? Um, they may have an element of risk or what we call not not, not necessarily have full safety, right? We talked about mutual funds and the various things that they could hold. But also in this environment, it's just a, it's, it's wide open. Um, it's basically all those things you can hold in a brokerage account, for example. Um, it could be those mutual funds. It could be stocks themselves. Um, it could be bonds. It could be those bond funds. Um, it could be limited partnerships. Um, how about real estate investment trusts? options. Um, it could be futures. It could be commodities. Listen, there's a lot of different investments out there and in, in, in that world of the unknowns, they all have the same thing. You're, you're speculating and hoping that they go up in value, but sometimes they, in many cases, they can go down in value. And again, we call this the world of the unknowns. Now I want to talk to you about a, another world, though you may not be familiar with it. It's it's kind of a hybrid. It's a it has an element of both of these. Um, take for example um, an equity link CD. Okay, this is a CD with a bank. Um, in a lot of cases, they will guarantee your principal to make sure you can't lose. But instead of giving you that guaranteed interest rate, they're going to tie it to some index or or something else out there, some commodity or the like. Um, for growth. So let me give you an example. Um, you have an equity link CD, maybe it's five years in length, and let's say it's tied to the S&P 500. And now the S&P 500 is just the, the largest 500 companies in the U.S., right? And so the, what they're going to say is, okay, you're at point A, you're gonna, it, we're going to look at that index, the S&P 500, in five years from now, we're going to look at it again. If the S&P 500 is down in that five-year period, well, you, your, your principal is guaranteed, you're going to make zero. But if the S&P 500 is up, we're going to give you, we're going to let you participate in that growth as, as some percentage. Let's say they say 50%, all right? So you get none of the down, but they give you 50% of the S&P 500 it's, if it's up. Now, in this case, can you see how it's kind of a hybrid? I've got an element of safety because they've guaranteed my principal, but I'm taking a little element of risk because I don't know whether that, that index is going to be up or not at the end of that period. Now, um, insurance companies have a version of a hybrid as well. It's called a fixed indexed annuity. It also guarantees your principal and also ties your interest that you're going to make to some index in this case. Now, it's a little bit different than an equity link CD um, because they typically want you to be in for a longer period of time, but they also will credit interest in between. So for example, let's say this is a fixed index annuity with an insurance company and they're saying they're also tying it to that same index, the S&P 500. Um, they're going to look at it every year and credit interest accordingly. So you have to understand when they credit interest, it's gonna, that also is going to get locked in. Now these, these are, again, these are instruments that are held with an insurance company, but they have an element of safety and an element of risk or growth because you don't know what that index is going to do. Listen, folks, there's a lot of financial instruments out there, and, and, and knowing what you have is very important. So I encourage you, if you'd like to learn more about you know, the various financial instruments out there and what may, might be best suited for you, then you're going to want to give us a call. Now stay tuned because I'm going to talk in Chalk Talks about safety, growth, liquidity, and how you might strategize to have a little element or maybe get a little bit of all those happening for you. So stay tuned.
You know, Larry, another great educational uh, segment there. It's interesting how with the first segment of the show, it was the safe and the kind of the calm, low-key one. Then you went into the growth and how, you know, a lot of folks out there in the audience, you may be used to the stocks, the mutual funds, and you've had those little bit of heartburn at times when you've had those ups and downs over the time. And then that hybrid one, you know, kind of a little bit of a mix and maybe how that could play a role. But the important thing to remember here, and I know, John, you're going to talk a little bit more about this in a minute, but they're all just tools, right? And, and depending upon what you're trying to accomplish, that's the important thing to remember is, as the old saying is, don't have all your eggs in one basket. These are all just tools that do different jobs. And with a right tool paired with a certain job, you may have great success or great failure, right? Right. And that's where, guys, I think to coming back to like what your strategy, what are your goals, what are you trying to accomplish? And especially if you're getting close to retirement or in retirement and wanting to generate an income stream, you don't want to have all your eggs in one basket. That world of risk that Larry was talking about where, you know, you could see it drop in half like we saw, you know, a couple times over the past 20 years. You don't want to have all your all of your investments out in that world. So that's where like that that hybrid world might make some sense. Again, just for a piece possibly, but not again, not having all your eggs in one basket. Yeah. Now, when when we're working with soon to be retired, you know, folks or retired folks, right? I mean, most of them will tell us, you know, listen, I just want an adequate return. Keep me away from the big negatives. I mean, yeah. what they're basically saying is, you know, I'd like to have safe, give me some growth, but keep me safe, right? Yeah. And I'm just amazed how many times we'll get we'll get their portfolio and we'll see that this is what they want, but this is what they have are completely different. So all the more reason, folks, that um, if you have a portfolio, you have an investment or a strategy, and you tend to think that maybe you're somebody that feels the same way, that you want a little bit more safety, but you might be a little bit more on the risky side, then give us a call. We'd be glad to sit down, kind of show you what you have, see where you might want to uh, maybe look at some other alternatives. So um, again, stay tuned for the next segment. I'm going to talk, guys, about safety, growth, liquidity, how you're predominantly going to get two of the three and how you might structure a portfolio to get a strong element of all of them. So stay tuned. to helping you plan to retire well. All right, welcome back to Retiring Well. Listen, in Chalk Talk today, I'm gonna to talk to you about what's called safety growth liquidity. Pick any two. Remember seeing that sign in the store? It used to say, price, quality, service, pick any two. Because you know if you get a low price for something, you're probably giving up an element of quality or service, right? Well, in the investment world, we have the same thing. Safety, growth, liquidity. Pick any two. Because I don't care what investment instrument you look at out there, you're going to get a strong element of two of the three. Let me just walk you through some, just to give you an example. Let's say that I have a, um, a savings account, right, at the bank. Fully safe, FDIC insured. Um, fully liquid, I can withdraw it at any time, but what am I not getting out of it? I'm not getting, I'm not getting growth, right? Now it's getting a little bit better. I think money market accounts are paying, as of this airing, paying a little bit closer to 2%, but you know, that's what I'm giving up is the growth. Uh, take, a, for example, an insurance product like a fixed index annuity. The insurance company is offering complete downside protection, right? They're guaranteeing your principal. They're going to tie your interest to some growth in the market. Um, let's say maybe the S&P 500, if that's the index it's using. So you get some of the up, none of the down. But what are you giving up in that environment? They're going to ask you to be committed to that financial instrument for a number of years. So what are you giving up? You're giving up liquidity, liquidity in that regard. Take a brokerage account. Um, stocks, bonds, mutual funds. Um, you know These are accounts that have great growth potential because if the markets cooperate, you can make 30 40%. But 
what if the markets don't cooperate? You, you can lose 30, 40% potentially. They don't have any safety. So you have growth, you have liquidity, but no safety. Can you see how all financial instruments, you're gonna get a strong element of two of the three of these. So it's very important to know how to mitigate the negative of those. If you just have all your eggs in one basket and that one negative is something you can't live with, then you're gonna to wanna to make some adjustments accordingly. Now I wanna show you something as a, as a strategy, a way in which you can mitigate that negative of having all your eggs in one basket per se. So let's just say, for example, I use strategy one, where I use some financial instruments that gave me that strong element of safety, okay, and maybe gave me liquidity. Okay, um, so this is something that's gonna be safe, it's gonna be fully liquid, but what am I not gonna get? All that growth, right? That's gonna be my negative in that regard. Let's just say I used another strategy that maybe gave me that safety as well, but in this particular case gave me some growth, maybe it's like that index annuity, but I'm giving up some liquidity, all right? Meaning I'm gonna be committed to that financial instrument for a period of time. Now let's say we have a third strategy that's gonna maybe go get me some growth, keep it liquid, but knowing that I might be giving up some safety. Let's say that's that brokerage account, that atypical brokerage account, all right? Now the point I'm trying to make here is that if I don't put all my eggs in one basket, if I have a fair mix using this strategy, a fair mix maybe using this strategy, maybe a fair mix using this strategy in my overall construction of my portfolio, what, I, what have I in essence done? Well, in this particular regard, I might have, let's say I gave a third, a third, a third to each strategy, just for, for illustration purposes. So what have I got? I've got two thirds of my portfolio postured to give me safety in case the markets don't cooperate. I've got another two thirds giving me the growth so that, so that if the markets are cooperating, I'm getting some of that growth. I've got another two thirds fully liquid in case I have an emergency and I need to get at those funds. Now, can you see how in, in this situation, by not putting all our eggs in one basket, I'm mitigating the negative of having anything in just one strategy by having offsetting strategies counter it. Now this is what, you know, structuring something like this in this way can mitigate those big highs and lows that you find in the market. You know, you wanna try to, you wanna try to achieve adequate return, but the idea would be to try to keep away from those big negatives that sometimes the markets can deliver. So listen, at Centennial Wealth, this is what we do. We try to come alongside you, educate you in every one of these various areas, those financial instruments that might meet these ends and put a portfolio together that might be more balanced. So I encourage you, if that's you, if that's somebody interested in learning more about a strategy such as this, please give us a call and we'd be glad to meet with you and talk about, about it with you further. Today's retirement challenges can be mastered. Knowledge is power because you can confidently plan ahead and make educated financial decisions for a successful and comfortable retirement. We are Centennial Wealth Advisory, financial advisors, specializing in retirement planning, serving all of Northern Michigan with offices in Traverse City, Cadillac, Petoskey, and Gaylord. And we invite you to an informative and exciting live event with a complimentary gourmet dinner. You'll learn highlights of the new Tax Reform Act, the difference between the fiduciary and suitability standard of care, how an IRA gets taxed to a surviving spouse, how two similar portfolios can end up with two drastically different results, what a bull market is and how long it can last, and much more. Call 888-608-5825 to register and choose the date and location that works best for you. Tuesday, August 6th at the Evergreen Resort in Cadillac. Thursday, August 8th at Big Buck Brewery in Gaylord or Tuesday, August 13th at Stafford's Bay View Inn in Petoskey. The live event starts at 6 p.m. and is free to attend with a complimentary gourmet dinner to follow. But seating is limited and fills quickly. Call 888-608-5825 to reserve your seats today. 
There is no cost and no obligation. Don't miss this important live event. Educated Financial Decisions. Call 888-608-5825 today. Yeah, guys, in that last segment, you know, talking about safety, growth, liquidity, I am amazed as we watch advisors out there, they all tend to have what they call their silver bullet, right? Or their, their shiny object or their, that arrow in the quiver, right, that they're using. That's basically all one strategy. And they think it's the catch-all for, for everybody. And it's not, you know, it's, it's, you know, what's that negative involved with that strategy? And understanding what that negative is is very important. For most people, I'm finding that they've got an a traditional portfolio that's made up of stocks and bonds and they don't recognize that if another 2008 comes along they've lost half their account. Mm -hmm. It's interesting Larry that you bring that up. Uh, Jack and I just had met with some folks down in their Cadillac office and that's the exact thing happened. This uh, couple come in had their statements laid them on the table you know we had a chance to do an analysis ahead of time and for years they had been with this financial advisor that preached diversification. You're in a great spot, you're safe because you're diversified. Well they were diversified within that kind of strategy that you talk about, but guess what? They just hold it a whole bunch of different growth sort of stuff. So these folks were very conservative or safe-minded, and when we dug down to it, yeah, they were diversified, but once again, all growth. They didn't have that safe element. They, they had liquidity and they had growth. When you got to pick two of the three, that's what they picked. That wasn't the two they wanted to pick, but that's what they had had. So all the more reasons important to go a little step further. Don't just assume that you're diversified and that's gonna meet all your needs. What is the strategies you're trying to do? And what is that goal you're trying to accomplish? Yeah, and that's what I think of guys as you think of the goals, strategies, tools. And we like to understand first, sort of where you're at with your goals and then sort of work our way through to understand, okay, strategies, whether that's income, investment, mm -hmm. taxes, estate, insurance, what are those different strategies put into place and then okay lastly what are then those tools those investment tools that are that are available um, that that go go into that overall plan so that's where where we feel it's just important to to understand exactly what you're trying to accomplish when it comes to your retirement planning and especially understanding what is that that income goal a lot of times when you've been working your whole life trying to save for retirement and and you want to have an understandable plan to know that that money is going to be there for your life Time. So structuring that income plan to coincide with the tax piece of it, to, under, to know that, okay, you're getting this income, trying to keep taxes to a minimum. So vital in a plan and making sure those investments then match up uh, to meet those needs and all the while having an estate plan to, to coincide with that and knowing your insurance needs are met as well. So that's something we encourage you, give our office a call. We'd love to sit down for no cost, no obligation, uh, second opinion. So we look forward to talking with you sometime soon. Thanks again for tuning in to Retiring Well.